Hey beautiful Scorpios and welcome to your mid-August 2021 love reading. Let's get straight into it. I'm seeing some quite exciting things in the pre-shuffle. Um, first card out is our energy, transformation. So I feel like your love life is being transformed. Um, you've got choices in the last two weeks of August. Um, and what I'm getting with the choices card next to the grounding card is careful what you wish for because the, the decisions that you make at a subconscious level are going to be coming out into the physical is what I'm getting here, okay? We've got heart opening. So whatever this new beginning is, whatever this transformation is, it is forcing you to open up your heart. It's forcing you to, I'm getting level up. So you, you've kind of ascended, you've kind of like, there's a breakthrough. You know, I'm getting the lotus. This lotus is um, a symbolic of you rising up through the muddy waters of confusion. And you're blossoming, you know. Um, you've seen the light. I'm seeing, look, even in this card with the transformation, the butterfly. The, the butterfly is emerging into the, the light. After a period of darkness in the cocoon, okay, so that's what I'm getting in terms of your energy in mid-August. Interesting, I'm going to pull, I'm going to just go, um, I'm going to free ball it, okay, I'm just going to go where spirit leads me. Let's see what the unicorns have to say. Show me what is the message for Scorpio in mid-August 2021 when it comes to love, please. When it comes to love, what is Scorpio's message? You've got believe in yourself. See yourself doing well and you will. Again, it's kind of like careful what you wished for. See yourself with your, your wish having been granted. And then that's what's going to manifest. So it's kind of like the magician energy. Show me another message for Scorpio, please. Mid-August 2021. Listen to your true feelings. So I think this is going to be necessary when it comes to making your choices. Don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong, is the message on this card, okay? So, you know, you're pretty good, Scorpio, at not being influenced by people. You you have that sovereignty about your life where you, you know you're very very clear about what you want and what you don't want. So, I don't think you'll struggle with that, but the message is there for a reason. So, just bear that in mind. Okay, so where am I drawn to next? I'm going to have a look at the tarot. Angels and spirit, show me what is the main theme for Scorpio in love? In the last two weeks of August, what is the main theme? What are the major dominant energies in love for Scorpio in the last two weeks of August, please? Wow, Six of Cups. I love this. I'm getting a sweetness. I'm getting um, pure, innocent, a pure, innocent kind of childlike connection. Um, some of you, yes, might be longing and thinking about the past. Um, some of you might be wanting to reconcile with an ex. You know, I, I can't deny that that's a meaning behind the Six of Cups. But I'm, I'm really kind of feeling, because the Six of Cups is Scorpio energy, right? You're just in a happy place. You are emerging into the light. And you're not dwelling in that darkness anymore. I feel like um, you're, you're in a more playful state of mind than you have been for a long time. And I do see there being opportunities for romance. Um, I'm getting genuine choices, uh, as in, you know, you're being presented with genuine people. Some of you may be reconnecting with a past flame, but let's see. Okay, the, the light is flashing there. That 
could be a warning for some of you. <laughs> All right. Okay, interesting. We have the Justice card. We have the Six of Wands in the reverse next to the Six of Pentacles. I feel like someone wants to make a return, someone who wants to make things right with the Justice card and the Six of Wands in the reverse. Someone who didn't give you a lot of energy, a lot of attention, a lot of time and effort. Okay, they want to um, balance the scales. Okay, we've got the scales here and we've got the scales here. So um, could be dealing with a Libra. You've got um, Leo energy here as well. We are in Leo season. But definitely it looks like someone wants to come back and offer you something. All right, let's see. What else are the main themes and dominant energies for Scorpio in the last two weeks of August? All right, these cards just came out. So... The Five of Cups in the reverse next to the Three of Swords. I feel like this person really hurt you and it took you a long time to get over whatever this was. If it was a betrayal, um, if someone just up and left you and abandoned you, you held on to this for quite some time. But I feel like you're coming out of this. As I said to you, there's the light at the end of the tunnel that, that I am feeling. See, look at all the yellow in this card. All right, let's see. Clarify. Angels and Spirit, clarify for Scorpio. What is this Three of Swords and Five of Cups in the reverse in the last two weeks of August 2021? Show me what these mean. The Three of Swords and the Five of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, okay. So I feel like... Queen of Swords, you're wiping away the the sadness. You're clearing it out. You're wielding this sword of truth and clarity and you're deciding. You know, I get decisiveness from this. You're deciding to move forward. I feel like someone treated you really unfairly. Um, they could have had ego issues with this Six of Wands in the reverse. Um... And you just want fair and equal connections. Hierophant in the reverse just flew out. Interesting. Clarify the Hierophant in the reverse. Please, angels and spirit, show me. For Scorpio in the last two weeks of August 2021. I just feel like you're going to be nine of wands in the reverse next to the hierophant in the reverse. I'm just getting that you're not going to be giving the time of day to anyone that isn't on the same page as you, isn't offering commitment. You're, you're no longer going to be wasting your energy on, okay? Because we have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. The Nine of Wands in the upright talks about the wounded warrior. You can see he's bruised and battered. He's got a bandage on his head. Um, he's been through a, a long, hard journey. And I feel with the Nine of Wands in the reverse, you're no longer willing to sacrifice your precious life force energy on people who don't even give you attention <laughs> you know people who leave you feeling like this so that's what I'm getting quite straightforward isn't it so let's see who is Scorpio dealing with who is Scorpio dealing with in love in the last two weeks of August 2021 who is Scorpio dealing with in the last two weeks August 2021. I'm getting, okay, I'm getting messages as I shuffle. Three of Wands, someone who you may have waited for for a long time. Um, you've, you've been waiting to hear from this person, waiting for the truth to come out. 
I feel like it's coming. Someone you've been holding on to, Four of Pentacles, and someone who's been holding back. Someone who wants to reconcile with you, Three of Cups. receptive you're going to be to this person I feel like they may have made you wait too long here we have the ten of swords so really it was a difficult parting of ways a difficult ending I feel like this person this is you you're not waiting any anymore you're not um receptive to this person is what I'm getting here because of this delayed communication eight of wands in the reverse but I feel like they want to meet up with you they want to communicate three of pentacles I feel like it was just too much for you it got all too much five of wands next to ten of wands this person could have played too many mind games and it just became a huge burden um, and you just no longer want to waste any more on this is what I'm getting here. We have the King of Pentacles quite randomly here because I'm not getting that this is a, a King of Pentacles type of person. So let me clarify, who is the King of Pentacles that Scorpio is dealing with? Who is the King of Pentacles that Scorpio is dealing with in the second half of August 2021? Yeah, okay, I knew it. The King of Pentacles is someone else who wants to build with you. Four of Wands. Someone who is offering commitment. Give me more about this King of Pentacles. The Star. This person, I feel, might have come along just as you were healing from this past person the star interesting they have restored hope is what i'm getting with the star card they've restored hope so you know if you're a woman you know this person has restored your faith in men and the same goes um vice versa show me more about this king of pentacles please for scorpio in the second half of august 2021 more about this king of pentacles for scorpio in the second half of august 2021 we have the hermit card at the bottom of the deck so that is virgo energy which is sometimes associated with the king of pentacles as well yeah, see, I told you. Look at this. We have the Ten of Wands again. So you've gone through this difficult healing process and I feel like you've been rewarded because we have the Wheel of Fortune. So it's like destiny and fate has kind of stepped in and the wheel is now finally starting to turn in your favour. And you have the Magician card. So it's kind of like the world is your oyster. You know, you're coming into your power. You've, you're getting your mojo back. You're starting to feel some momentum happening. Um, still some healing to do because we have the temperance in the reverse. Also, don't get impatient, all right? Allow things to unfold naturally because there is going to be a difficult decision. Um, and we saw that with the oracles. You have the two of swords in the reverse here. It's going to come after communication that you may have been waiting on for quite some time. Yep, so three of wands in the reverse. Maybe you just gave up waiting. Um, you decided to close out that cycle. Um, 
Yeah, there's going to be a choice. We have the lovers in the reverse. Here you are again, the Queen of Swords. I like that, you know, I'm being drawn to the owl here. So even though the Queen of Swords is known for being very logical, um, the owl is very intuitive. So I feel like you're going to make the right choice. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse, so I feel like that that's a secret being revealed. Something that has been long hidden from you is coming out. There's the Hierophant in the reverse again, next to the Strength in the reverse. Two of Pentacles, another card about the need to make a decision. All right, so this person wasn't offering you commitment in the past. They didn't have the courage to commit. Strength in the reverse and Hierophant in the reverse. They left things up in the air and left you feeling so defeated. Um, we have the Five of Swords in the reverse. We have the Empress, so that's your energy. Um next to the Nine of Swords and the Four of Cups. This person abandoned you, okay, and left you feeling, you know, they gave you sleepless nights. Um, they left you feeling rejected, um, even though you had offered them everything, the Empress. Yeah, they definitely abandoned you. We have the Eight of Cups here. So this is that person sailing away um, without so much as a goodbye is what I'm hearing. So I feel like you were left in this two of pentacles energy of, is this person going to come back? You know, once they've healed, cause I'm getting shown the butterflies here, they needed to transform or change some, some things in their life. Um, they need to, needed to regain, regain balance and strength that they were lacking. There was confusion. They were all up in the head. I'm being shown the clouds here. So you were very, like maybe it changed day by day. It was like, why am I holding on to this person? They, they caused so much pain and suffering. But I, I'm so attached to them and I invested so much is what I'm getting. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, you felt like there was no payoff for your investment. But I feel like um, you were forced into healing yourself without any kind of sense of closure. And I feel like you're starting to be rewarded. I'm With this Ace of Wands, I'm getting a passionate new beginning. Yeah, see, with this Knight of Wands in the reverse, which I feel is them, they were very impulsive um, and they refused to act. They refused to take the lead or do what was necessary. And they put you in this Four of Swords energy, feeling isolated and alone and you were forced to heal. Look, that's you, Five of Cups. That was you thinking about it the whole time. Wow, and then it looks like someone has come out of nowhere. Because we have the Tower next to the Ten of Cups. So it's like out of nowhere, you have someone who can offer you everything that you've ever wanted. Wow. So let's have a look at your, your advice. All right. Um, could you use this deck? Angels and Spirit, what is the message for Scorpio in the second week, or second half of August? Yeah, look, look at this difficult choice. 
We've got Dark Knight of the Soul. So I feel like you're emerging from this. We've got second guessing. So there could be some doubts around this difficult choice. Um, or people trying to influence you. What does Scorpio need to know? Love bombing just came out. So just be careful. This person from the past might be inundating you with messages. Let's see. What else for Scorpio? Second half of August 2021. Stalking you online. You always get this, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Second half of August 2021. <laughs> there's that card again second guessing all right some of you uh may kind of decide to give this person from your past another chance We've got necessary separation. So I feel like um, you were supposed to go your separate ways. Both of you needed to work on your own healing. If you do decide to return or let this person come back in, um, it's going to take some time, all right? It's not going to just happen overnight. Um, we have eternal bond. So I'm getting that this person's going going to ask you out on a date and say to you, it doesn't matter how long we've been apart. I've, I've always felt so connected with you. We have happy times ahead, but we do have toxic behavior. So it feels like this person still has a lot of work to do on themselves. They are obsessed with you. We've got making an apology. Um, we have games being played and new beginning. So there's a need for caution here. There's love bombing again. I feel like you're going to have to be really, really... You're going to have to be the queen of swords. You're going to have to use your good judgment when it comes to this person if you decide to go back to the past person. Let's have a look at the simple love advice. What does Scorpio need to know in love in the second half of August 2021? Second chances. Second chances are precious. So if you give one, then truly commit to the prospect of the second chance. And that requires you to release past hurts and prejudices. Only true forgiveness will allow the relationship to grow. Second half of August 2021 for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Second half of August 2021 in love. Okay, there's the decision that needs to be made, a 50-50 question, so that's the decision, you'll be weighing something up, a lot of you will be saying no to this past person, because actions speak louder than words, and so you're going to be looking out for toxic behaviour, which I feel will be evident, you won't want to compromise yourself because this person already um, put you in such a dark, dark place. And I don't feel like you want to repeat that. Um, 
you're in that mood of you want someone who appreciates you for who you really are, someone who doesn't hide, someone who doesn't run, someone who just wants to offer you something real. We have clear intentions. So as long as you're really clear about what it is that you want moving forward, you won't struggle with this decision. You won't be influenced by other people. Um, I feel like this was someone who really propelled you into that dark night of the soul. You did a lot of learning about yourself. You did a lot of healing. This card, what's yours will be yours, is, is telling me that you understood that chasing this person back when the two of you separated was a pointless exercise. You knew that at one point they would come to their senses and return to you, Scorpio. And But I don't think you expected this to be such a long and drawn out process. I don't think you expected how painful it was going to be. Um, but I feel like for the most part you have, you know, you've... Um, you have overcome the experience, you've grown from, from it. This card's talking about the pain being temporary and you growing from the experience because growth is an unexpected gift of pain. So I'm getting that lotus flower imagery. Okay, so that's what I'm getting for your advice. Let's see what else we can get. What is Scorpio's message, please, in the second half of August 2021 in love? Yeah, so a truth that's long been hidden is going to be revealed. Look at that. Reveal the truth that has long been hidden. So you've got the angel of truth here. Interesting. Yeah, see, you're arising from the ashes of despair. That's your energy. You've got the phoenix. And I'm seeing that chalice as being a new opportunity a new beginning in love for you, Scorpio. Yep, and as I say that, start anew, begin again. So it's 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 lots of um, talk about rebirth here, and much happier times that you're coming into because I'm I'm being drawn to the dolphins here. So you are you know rediscovering your light-hearted playfulness is what I'm getting. Okay, so let's do your twin flame numbers. Angels and spirit, what are the messages for Scorpio in love in the second half of August 2021? Don't forget to like this video, please, guys, and um, leave me feedback in the comments below. Always appreciate it. I'm not ready. There was like 10 cards that just dropped then so wow union is in the air but are you ready take care of any unfinished business now so maybe that's what the universe is inviting you to do by bringing this person from the past back maybe it's just an opportunity for you to take care of this unfinished business so that you can claim that rebirth so that you can claim that new opportunity that i'm seeing for you congratulations you've taken the proper steps on your healing journey which assures success so i feel like the universe is rewarding you for all of the work you've done on yourself okay so I want to see more about what this new beginning in love is that's emerged, that's that's being presented to you, sorry. Show me more about this new beginning in love or show me this person that's offering this new beginning in love to Scorpio. Show me about this new beginning in love to Scorpio.
celebrate. Okay, so I feel like you're finally, you know, feeling like a weight has been lifted and some of you might meet this person at a celebration, but I just feel like this new beginning is going to be cause to celebrate. Now, this could be celebrating a, a reunion, you know, that could be the Three of Cups energy, you know, you've wanted to come back with this person from the past for a long time. And um, now it's happening, finally. See, the Patience card is here. So it has been a long time coming. There's going to be some kind of conversation and a truth um, being revealed. And that's why you've got the Listening card here. So... In order to make a clear choice... Look, there's the Lotus again here. Um, you, you're going to need to be centered and in balance because I'm, I'm being shown also the chakras all being aligned here. I want you to enter the stillness within in order to make the best decision for yourself. That's, that's when you're going to be able to listen to your inner knowing. When you have no noise going on, no mental clutter going on, no one trying to sway you. Look, I'm getting these images of you having the clarity that you need. Insight. What is insight? It's an understanding. So you're going to have the truth. You're going to have the clarity. Um, I feel like you're going to choose whoever wants to support you, whoever wants to appreciate you. That's what I'm getting from nourishment. Whoever wants to to um, protect your heart, because we've got protection here. I don't know if this past person really, before, like, you know, before you separated, I don't feel like they protected you in the way of, they didn't care enough about your feelings. We do have the awakening card here, so it could be that this person has awakened they've they've come to some major realizations and this person kind of looks like they're kneeling and wanting to apologize okay so that will be for some of you i'm going to clarify so let's see show me the people show me the people that are going to be in scorpio's love life in in the second half of august 2021 show me the possible star signs show me the energies i feel like for many of you with the four of pentacles in the reverse there's going to be someone who you've already let go of someone who you've already released Four of Swords in the reverse. Someone who, yeah, was the cause of you going into this energy. Someone who propelled you into that need to retreat and heal. But it could also be someone who has done their own healing. Okay, so who else is coming? Okay. Yeah, okay. Someone who didn't fill up your cup of love. Someone who wasn't able to be there for you emotionally. We have the page of pentacles in the reverse. Someone who literally dropped the ball. They didn't feel like they had enough to, to offer you. We have the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like they needed to go off and, and sort themselves out. They could have um, thrown themselves into work. Who's coming in for Scorpio in late August 2021? Someone who wants to come back in from out of the cold. Five of Pentacles. Someone who struggled financially. Someone who's experienced financial hardship. 
Who's coming in for Scorpio late August? Okay, someone who you tried to kind of um, fix things with before but it didn't pan out judgment in the reverse this could also be this person coming back some of you may not grant them a second chance someone who blocked their feelings the high priestess someone who yeah just wasn't open to this connection in the past okay interesting um let's see what else we can get Those Scorpios who do not want to reunite with anyone from their past, show me what's coming up. For the Scorpios not interested in reconciling with their ex, what's coming up in late August? The world. Okay, see, leveling up. You um, completing a cycle, maybe it's a karmic cycle. You're graduating from a particularly difficult lesson. The tower. Someone unexpected, could be an Aries, someone who completely takes you off guard or surprises you. Show me the single Scorpio is not wanting to reconcile with their ex. What do they have coming up at the end of August 2021? in the reverse again could be a Taurus coming in for you for some I'm getting that it could be someone who has very different values and beliefs Hierophant in the reverse um, we've got the Knight of Cups so this is your new opportunity and look they're actually facing you offering the Queen of Cups which is you Scorpio they're, they're wanting to offer you a new opportunity here. Be open to it, Scorp, because, you know, I feel like some of you may turn this into a missed opportunity because of, you know, your own fears or being just closed off. Four of Cups. And five of cup, uh, five of pentacles. You, you're going to need to overcome the past with the strength card. You're going to need to have the courage to allow this person in, um, because there's a lot of potential here with the empress. Some of you, you're, you need to overcome fears of, of starting something new. You may have held on to someone for so long that you're not so open to new opportunities. Look, you have to let go of the Seven of Swords. You need to let go of that feeling of being played by this past person. Don't be a victim. Don't hold on unnecessarily to this pain and suffering. Because I'm clearly seeing um, someone new being interested in you. Page of Wands. It's up to you, Scorpio, what you want to do. 
I'm just going to pull um, an advice card from this deck. What is the message for Scorpio in love in August 2021? You've got find your calm. Find your calm. So don't react. Get back into balance. Okay, so that's what I've got for you, Scorpio. I hope that helped and I'll see you guys next time.